Yo, yo, yo. Greetings, goddesses, goddesses, gods. So today is Monday, I think. I don't even fucking know. I don't pay attention because it's just not real. And uh, this is a different energy vibration. You can feel it probably. And this is what anger is like. Anger. I woke up. Uh, I've been stressed because this business that I'm in it's hard labor, and I'm by myself. It's hard labor work. It's deteriorate. My body's deteriorating. This is the re- this is the truth. My body's deteriorating, and it's in this type of work. Any type of labor, from what I've been reading, any type of labor that I've done, you know, that, I've, that I'm oh, that that I only know how to do, will de- will make my body deteriorate faster. And so this this has been this has been on me since my the beginning of spring. Uh, believe it or not guys I've been angry I've been angry since then uh, trying to learn how to channel this anger so my body's deteriorating and I don't know what to do because this is all I know this is all I know is this type of work outside work construction maybe maybe construction I'm not really fond finesse with shit uh, but I'm mostly lawn maintenance you know and, and landscape and uh, I, I just don't know what to do I just can't do it no more my body's my body says no more labor bro you cannot i'm gonna end up you know <laughs> you know bedridden you know couch ridden or chair ridden just because i can't move you know but i gotta move but there's there's all kinds of healthy ways to move but doing this is not really healthy it's like you're doing it's repetitive and repetitive if it hurts you got to keep going because you can't change the position or because there's a certain way you're holding a piece of equipment or or something and what do you do? Like, what do you do? I've been in business since 2005. I haven't, you know, and it's a seasonal work. It, you know, you got to stress for money and stress to get paid. And you have all this other shit to take care of. You got all these expenses on equipment, all this, everything gets old. And then you don't want to work. Then you got to fucking find someone to do this, find someone to do that. Uh, what do you do? Like, What do you do? (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, I I uh, I don't know what to do. I'm like lost. I'm like lost right now, and uh, I wanted to punch holes in the wall. I just want to like drive away and no worry about nothing. But that's not that's that doesn't do anything. Cause I've done that before. You can't just walk away from shit. You can't drive away from shit. The shit you've been building. the shit you've had here since whatever. You just can't do that because that's it, not right. You know, that's, that's, you started it. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, this is like, uh, and it's not only this, it's now, now that, now that it's summer, you know, now that we're in summer and there's no work for like, two months that's it you know then come September fall it's still rough because it's tough because you know the grass is just the the, the lawns are just coming back from the, the uh, you know because the lawns get stressed out in the summer and it really don't do much but I try to do what I can <laughs> uh, it's like I'm almost on the verge of trying to go take loans out you know because I because, you know, not only that, I'm trying to download, or not, not download, downgrade, downgrade the expenses, but yet upgrade the, the, uh, you know, the, the, what makes it run, and, uh, I do have one option, but that's not until fall, you know, for, to find people, but, uh, I've, I've been, um, Approach for a proposition that will benefit the business, but yet I'm still here by myself, killing my body. Tear by my body deteriorates. So all that, all that Reiki I do, all that Reiki, that fucking massage, and just to uh, get out and damage it again the next day. This doesn't make sense to me. That, that's that's insane. That's insanity. Because when when this is all created, when this is all pretty much uh, sp- sped up the deteriorating process, 
now you go, you take care of it, and then you go back out and fuck it all up. It just doesn't make sense to me. There's no logic. It is not your rash. That's not. That's not the highest good. It doesn't. Right? That's not the highest good. So, so what? What? what what's next? <laughs> like, you know, I have to start getting rid of shit. Like, literally, <laughs> start all over. Just get rid of everything. No more internet. No more trucks. No more equipment. No more shops. No more fucking uh, nothing. And start all over. So, who knows? You never know what could happen, right? This might even be the last video ever. This might be the last time ever anyone ever hears from me. Imagine that. Well, that, that wouldn't matter anyway, right? Like, what would that matter? Like, I'm not, it's, it makes no difference. I mean, there's nothing really going on now. I'm just, there's communication going on, but, uh, you know, nobody needs me. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's, I don't know shit. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I don't ever did. I don't even know what I'm doing. I never did know what I was doing. I don't think, no one knows what they're doing. So, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, you ask, is the self employed world really what, worth it? Because it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like why you should have to keep borrowing, going out and borrowing money and getting in loans and getting this and that. All just to, to for what? You, there's no profit. There's no ahead. You're just, you just, you, you have your own time. You have your own schedule. You do have your own, you know, your own way. You don't, you don't live by, but, but the society we live in does, you know. And the society we live in is the only ones that believe in the the clock, the increments of the sun, <laughs> the increments of the sun and the moon. What the fuck kind of shit is that? You know, but I had to record this because now that we're going to get seven minutes, <laughs> uh, just to give you an example of like what goes on behind all this shit behind everything like literally I was gonna punch holes in the wall this morning and slam the doors and break shit that's just what I felt like because of being uh, uh not normal I guess you know so I don't know, but this is what goes on behind the scenes, and and this is what what this is the the truth. This is the truth, right here. It's not what it seems like out there. It's just nothing is real. Nothing, nothing is real. Everyone, it's all a lie. It's all a fucking grand illusion, you know. And it's fucking for what? It's all, it's all, you know what I mean? Like, this is the truth. The truth is that the alligator can come out of the pond at any moment and snatch me away. And I wouldn't even be here. The business wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, any, anything, like, anything can happen. And, like, that is the truth. Where I could lose everything right now. Right fucking now. So now I have to ask myself... Why do I have to keep going through these experiences? This is what I do all day long. I'll be pondering why I have to experience this shit. Another fucking year of getting, getting. What it is is in a seasonal business. You 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 work. You you make all this profit, and then then you have downtime, like winter, especially winter months, and and sometimes in the summer. The winter months, you boom. All that money you made goes all to the winner. You, there, there is no ahead. There is no profit. There is nothing. It's fake. It's all fake. And this is what everyone goes through. All these businesses, you know? Like, good luck. Uh, I, 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 I have no words to describe anything right now. It's just... Uh, so now I have to ponder and ask all day long is... 
why do I keep experiencing this every fucking year? Every fucking winter you go in a hole, and then in the springtime you come out, you gradually come out, you come out, and in the summertime, boom, everything dries up, everyone's up. See, all work ceases, right? Boom. A couple of things to do here and there, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the bills don't stop. That shit don't stop. Uh, why can't the bills do that? Uh, it just doesn't make sense. It's a, it's, it's, it's a control. I have to, you have to figure out how to break the control. Go against the system, right? Beat the system. Our bodies are the business. We are the business. We are. Our body is a business. If, if not, if you don't believe that, then you're someone else's business. Where you ever you work, you're that's your that that's their you your body is their property. Wherever you work, wherever you punch that clock in, that's where your body is. Your body now you're their purpose. You're you're living their purpose. Why you're just like ah, I've been there. I've been there so many times, clocking in like why the fuck am I doing this, man? And if I lose all this, that's I'm gonna go back to that lifestyle, clocking in somewhere. Why the fuck am I doing this? switching job from here or there this job that job not coming in late that's the way I am man and that's what kind of time I'm on <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it I mean there's really nothing to do about it there really is nothing that's life and if I you know if, if you can't you know if I can't figure it out then the alligator's gonna come up and snatch me away you know I won't be here no more I don't know where I'll be You know, it's it's fucked up because you build, you know, you, you when when one when I should have got with God first, <laughs> just like it says, you get with God and all the riches will come. Well, I went out and got all the riches instead, right? And fucked up, and then I started to find God, or we, let's just call it God. We're gonna, we're just it's not not that I don't believe in God, but let's just call it God right now because just to keep the wording, the language, we're just gonna use the correct language right now everybody will know so uh, then I started to find God but they didn't really tell me that the riches were going to take forever to come like till you die <laughs> like I guess I guess it would be gems like meeting people like you Bridget Gabriel Samara you know all these people Donnie Jim you guys are all like gems you are the gems apparently so I just gotta figure out Chuck, Russ, Leslie. You guys are all gems, but why well, gotta figure this out? This is where I'm at, you know. So, cause I don't even know why I'm doing all this. I really don't even know why I'm doing this shit. Why am I doing this? You know? Why? What for? Nobody needs to know this shit. Nobody needs to know me. Nobody. Nobody needs this crap. Like, I. I don't know. Like, it's fucking. It's mind-boggling, you know, to keep doing this shit over. It's insanity, and I don't know why. I don't know. But there's one thing I have to look forward to is this fall because I've got, I've, I was approached by some. Let's just make a long story short. That's another video. Uh, I met somebody at a weird coincidence. Weird coincidence. Now, I don't believe in coincidences. So it was, it, was, it was a weird synchronicity. And the person's name was Herb. <laughs> Herb Baker. Okay? Now check this out. He approached me. I'll give this another story later. But I'm just going to give you the, the fine details. Uh, he approached me. He was from a vocational school where they're going to teach lawn care. I'm like, what are you talking about? Nobody teaches how to cut grass. Nobody teaches how to run this shit. Nobody, no, you know, nobody does. This. this is not real, right? False events appearing real. Fear. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, so I'm like, what? He, so he asked me to be part of the council. Like, I'm like, what? Council? Like, what are you talking about? This is when I discovered the 11th Dimensional Council from the Arcturians back in November. If you guys remember all that, this was all going on. So I went to the council where I'm a fucking member of some council at a vocational school. What it is, is basically, we're, we're, uh, 
he's gonna teach kids these kids how to fucking run all this shit uh, he, he bought you know they had a loan to buy all new equipment all this shit uh, so he has no one he, he has no knowledge of any of this shit who has all the knowledge I do me this is where I come in and he said that uh, basically he needs the help to make sure these kids are doing the right shit blah 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 so basically that Ted tells me I get to pick my kid pick my chickens right so I grab my chicken and build it okay so uh, so then what happened was uh, so he said now you just need to give me a hand with all this shit blah 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 and in return we can take care of your truck fix some things up whatever whatever the case may be um, you know, for barter and then it goes uh, so it goes further beyond that because now my company will will be like the little league of baseball you dig it's going to be like a farming like, I don't want to say this but it's going to be a farming company where we're going to farm these kids to work with landscapers you dig that's the, the, the and that's basically it in a nutshell and that's not until this fall but yet the business is collapsing <laughs> the business is kind of kind of on the down spiral right now because of the weather and uh you know income situation and just all this other shit you know and expenses so uh you know and i know every year is like this but this feels different i don't know you know i just want to cry my eyes out like every day like uh, so, you know, um, so anyway, every day is like this until, every year is like this until basically the fall time, you know, uh, September is even iffy, it just depends what happens with the weather, you know, I'm all counting on the weather, <laughs> you know I'm saying, like, but the, the bills don't count on the weather, they don't care, you know what I mean, that's another dimension, that's their dimension, you know, and you gotta have that dimension, you gotta be prepared for that dimension, so, we gotta play the game, you know. Uh, so well, next year, next spring, hopefully, uh, then the farming system will be up. And but here's the weird thing: is I need to get all new equipment because my equipment is ancient. All everything I have is ancient. So now I have to fucking get new equipment because when you have ch kids running your shit, it fucks shit up. I mean, no matter what, I've seen it. I've been through this for fucking 30, whatever, 30 years. I've seen it. You know, you have all this old equipment and these kids come in. They don't know how to run the shit. And shit happens on the job site with them. Well, while I was running it, old is fine. But you got some new hands come in and boom, and shit gets fucked up. So, like, it happens. My equipment's old. I need all. I need to upgrade my company, basically. And I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do that. How am I going to... I need, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to find, like... I have, like, to find, like, I don't know, like, 20 Gs just to even read, more than that, because, I mean, more than that shit, like, 30, just to upgrade the, the equipment and a trailer, just to upgrade the equipment and a trailer, <laughs> you know, and possibly another truck now, because now if I'm farming, you know, it's going to be wild, it's going to get wild, and I'm going to have to, like, actually hire someone else to help me with this shit but again where is the funding coming from that's the thing where is this shit coming from like like yeah i can live there all i want in this dimension but you know I, there's no signs i haven't really seen any signs of saying boom you know this is all gonna pay paid whatever whatever that's just that's just rambling these are the things that we have to deal with this is true spirituality right here this is the truth right here this is the truth i've told you the truth you dig like there's no what i'm telling you on the other all this that's not that's not true to you it's only true according to your perception of what i believe that's just a belief you know like what i see and believe and experience so it, you know, this is the true reality of everything. The hard knocks life. The lion eating the zebra. The crocodile coming out of the pond. That's the reality of life. That's, it's the nightmare. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. 
Thank you for stopping in and tuning in as always. I will see you very soon. I love you guys so much. Be unique, be inspiring, be magical, and fucking be magical. Fucking magical. I'll see you real soon. I love ya.